Hello, hi, welcome to Surgery Dada. So today I am going to explain you a very, very, very simple concept of surgical site infection. So when we talk about surgical site infection, what is surgical site infection? Students, whenever we do any surgery or whenever you do any procedure, you have to cut the skin in given proper incision and then you have to reach to that organ. So during this course, there is a breach of, you can say, uh, breach of the natural protection, natural barriers and thus there is a risk of entry of microbes. Now when we talk about these entry of microbes, you need to understand that whenever you do any incision, so the natural defense mechanism is lost and then there is someone which is, who is known as immunity. This immunity will give you protection against what students? Microbes. And one very important thing that you need to understand that immunity, it requires how many hours? Four hours for activation. So thus that means that for the first four hours, there is no immunity and that is why there is a risk of what? Wound contamination and thus infection. And therefore, first four hours, they are what are known as what are students? Golden hours also and they are also known as decisive phase. So let us try to understand this basic concept and thus we can calcul calculate that we need to give a proper antibiotic profile axis. Now when we talk about antibiotic profile axis, it should be given within a 60 minutes phase prior to the incision. You can give it 60 minutes, you can give it at 30 minutes prior to incision, you can give it at time of induction, just before the incision but not after the incision. This is what is very important. However, if you give it between 30 to 60 minutes, the drug gets some time to achieve the peak low load you can say and thus it gives you the maximum protection. Now, when we talk about the surgical site infection, what are the two types of surgical site infections? We have two classical types. The surgical site infection can occur along the incision line or can occur along the anatomy that has been manipulated except the incision that is what is organ. So it can be incisional SSI, it can be incisional SSI or it can be organ space SSI. So incisional SSI and organ space SSI. Now when we talk about the incision, incision again has two parts, the skin and the subcutaneous tissue and the remaining part of the, you can say, the tissue, the, except the skin and subcutaneous tissues, we have the muscles, we have the fascia, we have the peritoneum. So it is further divided into two types. What is that? Superficial. So one is superficial incisional SSI and one is deep incisional SSI. When we talk about superficial incisional SSI, what is that? Now this is what is very, very, very important. This is defined as SSI along the skin and the subcutaneous tissue. This is what is very, very, very important. SSI along the skin and the subcutaneous tissue. Now there has to be a quantum of, you can say, time window. So what is that? Within, within 30 days of surgery. And this is what is very, very, very important. So if a patient turns to you with pus coming out of the, from the skin after two months, will it be categorized as, as SSI? No, that will not, except in a certain case, I'll tell you. Now when we talk about deep incisional SSI, what is that? This is SSI along the incision, SSI along the incision except the skin and the sun, except skin and the subcutaneous tissue. So the logic is that it might not be just restricted to the skin and subcutaneous tissue, it, will, it is involving the deeper part of the incision. And what is the time window? This is again very interesting, within 30 days within 30 days of surgery and students there are a lot of places where you need to put the implants so or or one year one year in case of implants and this is what is making it very 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 simple let us try to understand more important things what are they so what is the concept of organ space ssi so when you're talking about organ space ssi what is that it is defined as ssi along the anatomy manipulated during surgery. Now this is what is very, very, very important. So when we say anatomy manipulated during surgery, what is the key word that we need to understand? So anatomy manipulated during surgery except, except skin and subcutaneous tissue. So if it is except skin and subcutaneous tissue, this is what is making it very, very, very important. And what is that time window? Again, the time window is same. 
within 30 days of surgery or one year of implant. So suppose if I did a lab cholecystectomy and on day 15, there's a patient who is presenting to me with the pain on the right, uh, you can say right epigas or you can say right uh, subchondral region. And then uh, there, are, there is there is uh, chills, there is uh, jaundice that the patient has developed and then when you go for, you can say the ultrasound, you get to see uh, near the right hemidiaphragm, you get to see pus pocket. So there's a pus collection below the right, you can say diaphragm or around the hepatic bed. So what is this? Is this SSI? Yes, this is SSI. Why? Because this patient had been manipulated in that same area. So when you are doing a cholecystectomy, you are manipulating the anatomy around the liver bed. Yes, you are placing the gallbladder on the you can say liver once you retract it and once you resect it and then you are extracting so if there is a collection around that area yes this quantifies itself for the organ space ssi now same patient presenting to you with the pain in the left iliac fossa and there is pus along the left ovary and fallopian tubes so students merely coincidental existence of the pus and the you can say uh, and the collection around the left iliac fossa or left paracolic gutter with that cholecystectomy in that time window of 30 days doesn't mean that this site was operated on so we did not manipulate the organs here so this is not qualifying for organ space ssi same way suppose there is a patient who has undergone tkr total knee replacement and after six months the patient is having myonecrosis above that area so what is that is that ssi yes because in case of implants the deeper incisions qualify for what for a phase of uh, 30 uh, not 30 days up to one year so thank you for watching my video for more such interesting content do join surgery dada and enjoy your surgical learning with me till then bye bye